What's going on guys? So today we're going to be getting into WWE 2K24's game mode called My GM. So let's go ahead, not waste any time, and let's get into it. So a lot of the changes and decisions that we have to make in this mode is going to be up to you guys. So be sure to leave your guys' comments, suggestions, and stuff in the comments down below. And if you want us to do a live draft so you guys can help us draft the best roster, be sure to follow me over my Twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash american blood now first off we have to select who do we want as our gm i'm just gonna pick i think eric bischoff i think this would be a cool a cool selection and then what brand um we're just gonna go with a standard wwe monday night raw and we are gonna be going up against mick foley we're gonna do him as NX. Now we'll do SmackDown. And then we'll also do Paul Heyman with ECW. And we'll just rock with those three. And game definitely normal. I'm not the greatest. That's why I need you guys' help. Everything else I'm thinking I'm gonna put on default. Even match unlocks default. Everything else is default. So let's go ahead and start the draft. And let's see what we can come up with for season one draft. All right. So our first pick, we got to really think about classes and money. We also got to think about, you know, your levels. Are they heal? Are they face? Um, but And who wants to be our champion? Who's going to be our champion there on Monday Night Raw? Is it going to be a guy like Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey? But, like, even then, we can come down here. We can say elect. Alexa Bliss, Randy Orton could be our champion. Logan Paul could be our champion. Or how about L.A. Knight? But only has 54 stamina and 54 population or popularity. Uh, maybe wants more popularity to start out, but we also don't have a lot of money here. So you know what? I think I'm gonna choose somebody that has good stamina here. I don't like Charlotte Flair because she's a giant. So, and that's just hard to match up against. So we're gonna go ahead and go Rhea Ripley as our number Drop one overall Rhea pick Ripley. for Monday Night Raw. Home, she will be our women's champion. Ripley. So everyone Raw goes women because we went women first. So pick. now we gotta think about who is gonna be our men's champion there on Monday Night Raw. Um, I like LA Knight. Omos is pretty good. Damian Priest, we could just say, hey, he cashed in money in the bank. He is now our world champion. But I think for this, we are going to go with AJ Styles simply because he's a specialist. He can go up against Russell anyone. AJ he is a Styles. face. Monday so we have a Raw heel women's again. champion, a face men's anyone, champion. So now we got to think, who do we want to feud with? AJ Styles with out the gate and it's obviously we need a heel for him could it be the Miz but he's also he's also a specialist uh fighter another specialist Bailey but that our women's champions already a heel so we need a face I do not want to pick Charlotte Flair so like Alexa Bliss she's also a heel but we can change that around but someone I really, really like that's really cheap, but I'm not going to go with it quite yet. We can get her later on. But LA Knight is also a face. We need a heel to go up against. How about Logan Paul? 15 star rating. Cheaper side for someone that's got a 15 actual rating. So we're going to go with Logan Paul here. He can Rob match Pitts. up against Logan AJ Paul, Styles. The GM with a big pickup in Paul. And I think that Bishop could be a good pick. Now someone with he just needs one Rhea push. Ripley. We got to find a, I think, fighter to face Rhea Ripley. So we need a fighter, which that could be uh, interesting to find. Carmella, but she's a heel. So we need a fighter. It's a face. We need a face fighter fighter nikki cross nikki cross and rhea ripley good feud out the Rob gate we'll take it nikki cross. so right the there we already got with nikki cross. our main a champions the under the belt in a feud now we can Raw try to think of out more outside pick. the box can we get some can we get another champion that we like like tag champions so like Morgan, Morgan could be somebody. 
Um, Jinder Mahal. We got Brutus Creed over here. We can get the Creed brothers, possibly. We got Tiffany Stratton. She's a specialist as well and got really good stamina. I think Tiffany Stratton could be a really good idea. Um, Chelsea Green star rating at a 10 is really good, especially that cheap. Carl Anderson's down there as well. So we have Carl Anderson, Fallon Henley, Josh Briggs, Chelsea Green as a fighter. She's a heel fighter. So that could work decently because we could always change Rhea. We could always change Rhea or Rogers change Chelsea, Chelsea as a Green. face. Chelsea but we're, we're thinking outside the box here. Probably talent. two outside of the box. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below of what way we should go after this draft. So we can figure out what we're going to do. Now we can think of like maybe a cruiser. So we had a fighter. We have a cruiser. Um, Liv Morgan's cruiser. Those go up against giants a lot. Tamina's a giant cruiser. But like for a tag team, do I really want that? Valhalla bruiser. So another bruiser and fighter. But Chelsea Green, we need a we would need a face bruiser to go with up against Chelsea Green. A face bruiser. But I think we're gonna get another man men's champion right here, like the US champion or intercontinental champion. And who are we gonna choose? Maybe Ricochet's kind of nice. Damian Priest would be a good one. He's a fighter, so then we would need like a face bruiser. I think we can find that. Let's go ahead and go Damien Ross Priest. Damien Priest. I think that'll be a good sets his sights on Raw. A guy like men's champion. Not in the ring. Mid card champion. And then we need a, a bruiser. Bobby Lashley be a good one. But he's also a heel, so that's not gonna work. We need a face bruiser. How about ooh, LA Knight? We wanted him, now we got him. LA Knight. LA Knight's gonna be our face. He can also be the champion. Really or we have Damian Priest as a champion. Now we can try to think of some tag teams. Who could we match up together? We still have 1.6 million to work with. We could have Elton Prince. He's a specialist. Chad Gable. Hmm, who could Chad Gable work well with on, that we have on here? Maxine Dupree, Herberto, uh, Jinder Mahal, Ludwig Kaiser. Um, Brutus Creed, Dexter Loomis, Cameron Grimes, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Kit Wilson. So we have Kit Wilson. We could get him. Zoe Stark, I Ivy Nile, Tyler Bate, Caden Carter. That's all we got. Okay. So I think we go with kit wilson and we also go with elton prince so elton prince, elton prince elton prince is about to make and this then even we're gonna go ahead and get kit wilson as well the... kit wilson where you at bailey that's just a lot for bailey though so we're gonna go down we still need, I feel like, women's champions as well. So it's kind of tough to come up with one. Specialist, giant, Raquel Rodriguez. Could, I kind of like Raquel, but then we need a cruiser. Um, Raquel Rogers Rodriguez. Is, Raquel Rodriguez. And Raquel could is work. going to stand tall on this brand. Could definitely She's work for, for sure. Opportunity and she just we got have it. five, we have six mills. Raquel Rodriguez. She's also what? She's a face, so we could. I mean, who's the cruiser that could she could face up against? Ooh, Scarlet could be a good one. How about Scarlet? Scarlet. Time to fall and, and we got Raquel. A She's still a little rough around the edges. But I think but we might actually. I think a good person the to mix taking stock of the with talents. Raquel would be. Especially if we want to keep us the same thing going here. We have specialists right there. Who else could we mess with here? Liv Morgan maybe is another cruiser. But then we probably want another giant. 
So we could have a heal giant. We could change Tamina right off the bat. Picks, Tamina. There's nobody meaner. So Tamina on this roster. She's and got then the Liv size. Morgan. We'll see if she's got the ability. Tiffany Stratton's a great pick too. But we're Drop gonna go ahead and choose Liv, Liv Morgan. Morgan. The GM looking to live dangerously. And maybe we want one more person here, on this squad. Soon. And here's the GM. Theirs is done. Roster. Ours is not quite done yet, but we could have finally like a specialist. We have 555 to work with here. Do we go with like a Cody Rhodes? Someone huge, or we go with someone like smaller? But possible star power. Carl Anderson. We have we need more males I feel like but we have a good mix of everyone here but what males should we choose Omos is a giant Bobby Lashley a bruiser he could fight up against a couple of our guys Logan Paul Damian Priest but they're all heels as well Shinsuke Shinsuke could go up against LA Knight that's about it for him and then Cody Rose is a specialist which means he can match with any of these guys. But out of all these guys, Sango's really good. But like for tag teams, we have our tag teams where they're in Kilt Wilson. Now with them, it's a little bit tougher, right? We got a specialist. And then we also have a what? Kit Wilson, Elton Prince. They're both specialists. That helps. So now we just need, we could just get a tag team for them. Like maybe a Tyler Bate or a Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson, face, face. Are they faces? They are not, they're heels. So Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson, a real machine gun of a pick here. Carl They're done. Anderson, he wants to prove he should. Carl Anderson, and I, I think Fallon. The SmackDown roster is now complete. Or a giant. I think Ross Fallon. Alex. Fallon Henley. Fallon Henley will bring a little country to this brand. She's a dark horse. The and GM then is we betting get, on. Who's the other guy? Josh Briggs, I think. Raw picks. Josh Briggs. Josh Briggs. The GM clearly seen big things and big. Not Josh a lot Briggs. of stuff going on here, but like I think we can make it work based off of and what our first show is going to look Monday like. Night um, look at all this. So that that's what we're gonna look into right now. We're gonna look at like what our first show could possibly look like going into Hell t Hell in the Cell tonight is a night the debut show. We will try not to let him down. Um, yeah. McFoley's gonna talk a smack there. A lot of this stuff. If we have any contracts you guys want to see, so our world raw world champion. We said AJ Styles could be the guy, and he would go up against possibly Logan Paul or Damian Priest. Well, we need five. Yeah, Logan Paul or Damian Priest. These are both heels. Um Probably Logan Paul for him. Or we got LA Knight be the champion. But I think AJ Styles' popularity has the highest popularity. You kind of want him as a champion. So we're going to go with him as our men's world champion. And our men's tag team champions will be Elton Prince. And we will also have Kit Wilson. And our Raw's men's champion. So like, will be Logan Paul. Um, to boost up LA Knight, but I think we want to boost up Logan Paul a little bit more. And then Damian Priest will probably fight for AJ Styles, and LA Knight will fight Logan Paul. Or we could have by I don't know what we want to do with that, but actually, you know what? Damian Priest. Because I want Logan Paul to fight AJ Styles. So Damian Priest will be our other champion. And then for our women's champion, we got Rhea Ripley. That is a no brainer highest population over or popularity over there. And our women's tag team champions. This is where I was like, hmm, where should I go? But I think where we want to go with this one is we have a fighter and a cruiser, right? And then they could face, or we have two cruisers and they could face two giants and Raquel Rodriguez and Tamina. I think that could be a good thing going and then Rhea Ripley could fight Chelsea Green or Nikki Cross 
Um, but I think that's a good start. So we can have Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Actually, no, we won't put them as the champions. It'll be, I think the champions should be Tamina and Raquel. There we go. I think that'll work right there. Those, we'll confirm that. Uh, we could always change it in the future. Try to try to like, you know, manipulate it. But we got reduces probably that a superstar become injured. There's our first car, the best offense, prevent the effects of the first power car player on you next week. And select opposing brand who uses a tier one advertising logistic during next week's show. So now. We're going to see how our first show is now ensure that Damien Priest fights this week. Okay. That should be okay. We have some budgets, but I don't think we really need a budget starting out. I think we're going to go right into it and we are going to start out with, uh, we, did we want to change someone to heal right away? Was it like Tamina? She's a face and giant. And then who is not? Giant, she's a face, and they're a champion, so they're both faces. Then, and then we want them to go up against Nikki Cross, or no, Liv Morgan, right? Cruiser and another cruiser. We have a face, and Scarlet is a cruiser, so we need Liv Morgan to actually roll change for Liv Morgan. Might sound a little crazy, but I think it's going to work. Liv Morgan's going to have a role change. We're going to have our women's champion. Let's hopefully start a feud here. The so bruiser. We have a fighter here. Fighter here. But I think Chelsea Green, we're going to go with Liv Morgan. Or, or, or Scarlet. But we have a fight. So Chelsea Green or Nikki Cross to fight Rhea Ripley. Ah, oh, yeah. the choices, the choices, the choices. Well, maybe, maybe we do a triple threat and find out who wins this match. We got Bruiser, Fighter, and Fighter. No title match, but maybe they'll start a feud, right? And then the middle card, we got Damian Priest as a champion, so he could fight somebody. Damian Priest would have to go up against a bruiser, which would be L.A. Knight right off the bat. We have a face there. Could that be the title match? No, nah, no title match. Hopefully start a feud, though. And then our mid card would think would be our Oop, tag team match, men's tag team, Kit Wilson. And who we want to set up with these guys, Carl Anderson. And Josh Briggs. No title match there. And then our main event of the evening. Tamina Raquel can have a night off, but AJ Styles and Logan Paul, who is going to get the best of who for our world championship in, let's see, which one of you guys, what's your guys' specialist? Submission and Iron Man, okay. Submission and Iron Man, got it. Don't think we have any of those unlocked, so we're just gonna do a good old tables match for the title. Call out. We're going to do a call out. Tamina. Bruiser, cruisers. Nah, we won't do a call out there. We'll do maybe a self promo. Anyone good on the mic? Scarlet with a self promo. We can do that. And I think that's about it because everyone else is pretty much booked for our first show. So. First card, I'm not too sure about. Could be the women's champion right here. Should we do it for the women's champion just to see? Just to see. Why not? Why not? 
Women's champion on the line in the opening show in our main event. WWE title is on the line. Maybe we get some good stuff going on. We have a nice little budget. We could up our show quality right away and spend some cash. Do we want to do that? Fog effects, concert hall. Concert hall is better than that, but at the same time, maybe we just up our backstage crew or basic effects. How about that? Basic effects, we'll update those. Power cards, I think we're good on. Let's go ahead and book the show. Confirm the booking. And let's see how our first show does of this video. Next video will probably be much longer because we'll have more. We already have a roster. We already did our draft, stuff like that. But don't want to make this video too long. Just want to give you guys an idea of what we're doing. Let's go ahead and see. And Rhea Ripley does retain, and we have a good match. Three star Ripley and Nikki Cross are now in a rivalry. So that solves that issue. It will be Rhea Ripley and Nikki Cross in that rivalry for the pay per view. Liv Morgan has a role change, so she's good to fight for the tag team championships now. And now we got Damian Priest versus LA Knight in a non title match disappointing but it does start the rivalry so that's going to be good for them excellent promo by scarlet and then our mid card non-title match tag team elton prince and kit wilson mediocre new rivalry so that is started right there hopefully those two can work as a tag team and in our main event some some days we might spectate but for today we're not going to i don't want to make the video too long so let's go ahead ahead simulate this and AJ Styles retains. It's an okay match, but hey, we're just starting rivalries. We're just getting our feet wet in the water right now. Let's go ahead and see how SmackDown does. They have a title on the line straight out the gate. Drew McIntyre and Louis Kaiser win in a great opening match. And then we have a another tag team match right here. And Chad Gable and R Truth a win with one and a half star rated. And then we got Lions versus Carmella. Carmella wins another one and a half stars. And then our championship match is between Becky Lynch and Bailey. This should be a pretty good one right here. Bailey's going to win the championship in a great three and a half star match. And that starts a rivalry between Lynch and Bailey. And now over to ECW, we got Braun Strowman versus Jimmy Uso. And Jimmy Uso takes down the Giant in a two and a half star match. We got Alexa Bliss with excellent promo, a plus two to population. And now we got Butch versus The Miz. And Butch is going to take him out in a one and a half star match. We got Charlotte Flair with a promo. Getting them probably some extra cash as well. Ronda Rousey, Tiffany Stratton versus Natalia. Natalia and them win, and that starts their rivalry. And then finally, we got Rich Holland versus Finn Balor for the championship. Who is going to win? It's going to be Rich Holland taking the title away for a four star amazing match. So overall, three and a half, four and a half, six and a half. We earned a total of about eight stars, so not the greatest. But let's see how we did. Raw, 42,000 fans we gained, and we also gained $40,000 in profit. That's not too bad right there. Let's see what SmackDown did. They gained 43,000 fans and 60,000 in profit. And then finally, ECW gained 45,000 fans and $42,000 in profit. So I feel like we're not too far behind. We also earned a card right there. So that's going to be good. So we're down at the bottom at 42. So about 3,000 fans down after one. But that doesn't mean too much. We can always catch up in the pay-per-views and stuff. We got some rivalry started. So that's good. Selected opposing brand. Double the cash cost of their talent scout searches. So we're not going to scout any talents. Ripley cheated me in that last match, says Chelsea Green. She wants a rematch in the next two weeks. Do we give it to her? We could probably do like another triple threat with her in it. So we'll go ahead and say sure, no problem. Keep the morale going. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next 
video and be sure to comment down below any suggestions, any ideas, any tips or tricks for me as I'm very, very new to my GM. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.